hey nail besties welcome back to the channel so in today's video we're going to be doing junk nails and i am starting with my cuticle bit and honestly this is a new cuticle bit that i am trying out this one is so softer on the nail and it also pushes my cuticles back 10 times much more better than me using my round bit so i really like this bit here so what I'm doing now, I'm just starting with my prep and just prepping my nail. You guys already know I'm going to be doing a pop-off method. In one of my videos, I promise y'all, I'm going to do my left. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm going to do my right hand. And we're going to see how it turn out. Because I miss, I miss having my nails done. So if I can't get, keep them done, then boo, you already know. I can just do my right hand since my right hand ain't never done. So we're using the peel-off base coat. And let's go ahead and get into the nail set. So I am applying my super extra long nails, nail tips to my natural nail and I'm going to glue that together. So when I do my peel off base, cause you guys, I'm going to let y'all watch this application while I explain something really quick to you. So when I'm doing my peel off base, I put the base on first, cure that and I do, sometimes I do a second layer, sometimes you only really need one layer, um, but you can do two layers if you want. And with that, after my finger is fully cured, then I apply the glue. I do not apply the glue first and then the peel off. No, I apply the peel off, cure that, and then the glue on top of the peel off base coat. I'm sorry, not peel off base coat. It's the, you know, you know, the pop off base coat. So I use that. So that way, instead of me breaking the tip of my nail, is getting popped off with the peel off base gel so definitely if you guys are having trouble using the unt pop off try it the way i just told you and it should be easier for your nails to come right off so but yeah i actually love this nude here i actually mixed a few colors to get this nude and i really like the way this nude turned out because you know i use about the same three nudes all the time and i was just like well for this nail set i kind of want to go for like a super super lighter nude so that's what i did and i just mixed some colors tested it out and i was like okay this actually pairs well with my skin tone so this is a super cute nude i'm gonna be so sad when it runs out because my silly stuff. I did not even look at the colors I mixed. I was like, okay, this is a nude. This is a nude. This is clear. Let's just dip it on in there, you know, pour it together. And I didn't even look to see what I was doing. Like, but nevertheless, it still turned out really great. So I'm going to do another tutorial really quick on how to deal with extra, extra long nail tips. So normally what you want to do is I would say maybe you can try this in a three to four beat method, but you want to start from like the tip of the nail, unless you're doing one B and honestly to me, to me, I cannot do one B. Well, I'm not gonna say I can't, I haven't yet learned to do one B on extra extra long nails because i still want to make sure i am giving people an apex so that's why this is my second b here and as you can see i'm making it a little bit much more wetter but not too too wet because you want to make sure that it's still going to be level out i had to actually go back in here and fix a little bit of dents or whatever that was in there from the brush because i had some acrylic stuck in my brush this is why it's so important to keep your brush super saturated and wiped off when you are doing acrylic because even even professionals and people that's been doing this for a long time sometimes we do get acrylic stu stuck in our brush just from just working so it's okay and as you guys can see i'm doing a smaller bead which i wasn't really supposed to do a smaller bead right here it's supposed to be like a medium bead but I did a wetter bead, so I'm just going to go back on top of there and start forming the apex bead. As you guys can see now, I'm just dragging it down with the tip of the brush. You want to still make sure you pull it all the way down, but make sure that you are still giving yourself an apex. So you know the cuticle bead is going to be semi-dry. And you want to just push that up with the tip of your brush. Make sure you're tucking it in with the tip of your brush. Keep your brush clean. And you see how I'm tucking that in with the tip of the brush and wiping it down with the body of the brush. And you see that I'm forming my apex and my cuticle bead and it looks like it's coming right out, out of the nail. That's exactly how you want to do your cuticle beads. And I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the nail process. But I just want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to do 
a extra extra long nail and making sure that the nail is balanced all the way out
the filing process is insane <laughs> when doing extra long nails. Your fingers going to be all with your ways, especially when you get to that pinky. The pinky is like the hardest when it comes to extra long nails because you got the other nails in the way. And then like your pinky is so far away. And then sometimes it's like your pinky starts getting like hand cramps. So when you are doing these extra long nails, either on yourself or anybody else, make sure you're stopping and you, you're giving yourself like maybe a three second hand stretch just so that way you don't have to you know put too much pressure on your on your nerves in your hand too much because i know how it can be when we're trying to file we're trying to get that crispy sharp shape but our hands is hurting at the same time so yeah just take a little break here to stretch your hands out and you'll be fine i love filing the thumb the thumbnail is literally my favorite nail so you see how i'm just angling the file and i'm just keeping it placed towards the nail like super close that's how you're going to get that sharp look and this is what it looks like after the filing. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the Madam Glam swatches. The first color is a Make a Wish, and you will need a second coat for that. But after the second coat, it's super vibrant. This one is Midnight Kiss. They, these names were super cute. I didn't like the fact that this one was streaky, so I had to apply a second coat. But look at that, voila, it looks great. Purplelicious. Purple is my favorite color over overall. Like in general, purple. I love purple. And look at how creamy this glides on with the second coat. Super delicious. Ice Queen is such a pretty gray toned color. I like that it's super creamy when it goes onto the nail. This was my. This one was very interesting. I I like the creaminess of it, but I feel like this color here would be great. For like neutral tones when you want to do like that swirl nail design that people like to get. I really did like this glam resolution. I liked it because it looks like it's multiple colors mixed into one. So it looks like it's a little yellow, a little green, a little blue. And it just like, it's just super vibrant. And I really did like that. It looked, it, it's like an illusion type of color. So I really like these colors. And don't forget to shop my code below. So for all of the nails, I'm going to do a French. I'm going to do two glitter Frenches, and I'm going to do two white Frenches. So I'm going to let you guys watch me go ahead and create those French tips. And when you are doing French tips, it's very imperative that you use a long striper brush, especially if you're doing like deep Frenches, because this will be considered a deep French tip. And the best striper brush will be mine, of course, to be honest. Like, I have the best striper brush you can get super long lines super thin lines long strokes might as well go ahead and get you one <laughs> and this is how i just lined up my french tips just to make sure that they're even the worst thing you'll want to do is to have french tips that's uneven in length oh my god trust me i remember those days and what i'm just applying i'm just applying a really thin gel polish layer because i'm actually going to go back over it with top coat but i just wanted to get that full coverage on the first layer the first time should be okay just depending on how pigmented the gel polish is the more gel polish the more you end up losing your shape so when you're doing frenchies try to use thin but full coverage of the gel polish going in with the pigments from Madame Graham. These pigments were so pretty. So I decided to go ahead and go with the pink pigment because the junk nail said I did have like pink charms and things of that nature. You can use a scrubber to put this on, but I just find my finger just works really, really good because I was trying to actually press it super, super into the nail. Kind of give it that Aura effect without the, you know, you having to use the airbrush. I'm mixing two of the Metal Glam colors together just to give myself that sleek, colorful, but not too, too pigmented. Because when I'm putting the bling on there, you just want to make sure that you have like a base. So that way it, it will like blend in evenly with the stones. So I'm just going to do the French tip for the next two nails.
I know y'all probably wonder why she's squeezing the tube like that. It must not be nothing in there. It is something in there, but I just find it easier to put less pressure on my wrist. So this is just why I squeeze the tube out. And now I am going in with the charms. Oh my God, I'm telling you, when I finished this set, I was freaking in love. I was just like, I'm gonna put a charm here. I'm gonna put a charm there. But let me tell you guys the benefit of having like one of those flash cures, those handheld ones, is because when you are doing nails like this, sometimes the charms can tend to move. So you could just easily flash cure, but I will only flash cure if I did not put so much gel, so much glue on the nail. If I maybe put like one line and then charms, then yes, I would have did like that. So what I did was I just went ahead and put most of the charms on there and then the sides, where the French tip is at, I put the glue on those sides. So right now you're gonna just see me putting a lot of them at, on there at once. But if you want to, it's easy to flash cure if you are doing it row by row. But since these are junk nails, these don't have to be aligned in any type of way. You can just go as you feel and do your big one, okay? This one here, I can definitely say is my favorite set. As you guys see, I am going in with the flash cure. You will only need the flash cure to you know freeze the nail but overall after that you actually need to put the nail inside of the lamp to get a full cure and if you made it this far to the video i do want to say thank you so much for tuning into the channel i know i've been gone for two weeks but i am back now so don't forget to like this video comment give me some engagement below y'all give me some engagement below let me know what you liked about this nail set and if you guys have any nail designs that you want me to do for valentine's day send me some inspo text me something in the comments i'll be happy to recreate anything that you guys want me to recreate and this set is super cute and if you do try it out let me know tag me in my instagram below and i will see you guys in the next video thank you again so much for tuning into the channel and you guys have a nice day